Hello everybody, Happy New Year! It's that uh, time of year again where I finish my annual sketchbook and show off what I've been uh, what I've been up to. So feel free to go back and check out the 2020 and 2021 sketchbooks, but for now why don't we go ahead and take a peek at 2022. Very exciting uh, title card here. And right off the bat, we have uh, just a little face of my D&D character because I feel like the first page of a sketchbook is always kind of intimidating because you don't want to start off on a bad foot. So I just avoided most of it. Uh, a couple of monkeys, can't go wrong. A couple of faces. Um, these are scripts for phone calls because I get nervous and worry I don't know what to say. More of that, yeah. Spider-Man, very cool. You love to see it. More Spider-Man, very exciting. Batman, oh, this is a evil NPC from one of the D&D &D campaigns I'm in. A um, couple mouths, more D&D &D sketches. Old man, I think I found this guy off Google Images. Funny little characters. The most handsome goddamn specimen you'll ever see in your whole life. Oh yeah, and I did, I did have some fun with the uh, the good old Posca markers. Is this enough light? Do I need more light? That might be better, I don't know. We'll see. Again, just more little characters. I feel like 90% of this is just going to be little faces I made up. That's fine though. This is kind of an interesting guy. I feel like this could be a protagonist in some sort of indie game. I like the colors. Would you say yes or no? It's a very serious offer. It's me for real. This is kind of an art block page it looks like. You do have a bill from Dead by Daylight. Uh, funny little skull. This is um... I forget what I had written here, but it was some sort of notes and uh, just drew on top of it because I didn't want to waste too many pages with writing. More Posca portraiture looks like. I don't know if that's supposed to be me, but it looks a bit like me. Uh, another player's D&D character in uh, one of the campaigns I'm in. That was his wedding. Very cute. I don't know if this person is injured or if they were eating strawberry jam. And some skulls. There's gonna be a lot of this. I remember now I was uh, getting a lot into skulls and knights eventually. This kind of looks like the dude from uh, Kiki's Delivery Service. That's another D&D &D NPC. Patrick. You love to see it. <laughs> More Patrick. Goddamn. Yeah, You know, just, uh, some anatomy poses, etc. Yeah. Oh yeah, here we get into the uh, skeletons and knights category, I believe. Oh god, I just put a hair. That's disgusting. Yep, some knights. I was trying to figure out the cool design for like armor. I don't know how successful I was, but expect like 15 billion pages of these. I'm gonna go a little bit quickly. Yep. Some wizards, it seems. Necromancers. Some masks. More helmets. Yeah, I remember I liked this one. It's like a kind of baseball helmet knight. More skeletons, more this guy. Armor variations. Oh yeah, I remember really liking this design. I don't really know what kind of job this person would have this uniform. If it's like a priest or like a potions person, alchemist, I don't know. But she seems cool. Big hair. This is, I guess, like a monk or something. More of this character. This is um, Pop Pop, another one of my D&D &D characters. He's an old man, he's got a funny orb. 
Um, I, I guess I was just drawing stuff that's around my room, such as my uh, computer. More of this person. More of this person. Oh, this was the uh, rough mock-up of a comic I ended up uh, actually drawing on uh, the computer later. More robes. Ah, uh, yes, the funny faces. More funny faces. These ones are a little less funny, more just faces, but uh, still cool. Ah, uh, this was, um, it's kind of hard to explain. One of the guys on a Discord server I'm in made it little wrestler versions of a bunch of people on the server and had uh, them fight. It was just like a bunch of AIs dressed as us fighting each other, but it was pretty cool. So I did some fan arts of the different outfits. That one's me. I also have a pumpkin head version. And from Canada. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's a popping lock, friends. You don't want this. You don't want the popping lock. If the ref would get in there. Robbie! Robbie distracted the ref with popping lock. It's the popping lock. You can't counter it. Yeah. More iguano. Yeah. Bugs. His little pet snail. He recently got some uh, robot arms. More Posca. I like the colors on this one. It's kind of interesting. The Poscas are, uh, they kind of push me to use colors I wouldn't normally because uh, I don't have very many of them. So the palette's like limited. More Pop Pop. This funny orb. It was funny. This was like the, one of the first characters I've played that uses spells. Because whenever I play D&D, I just want to hit people with a sword or something because I'm too lazy to learn spells. But uh, the one time I actually do, I miss every single shot. I think I landed one spell over the course of like two sessions. So that was fun. <laughs> Here we got some naked people. <laughs> Clowns, some more... Naked people. I guess they have underpants, but I like this guy. Seems to know something. Now oh, these ones again. I guess I really like these designs. Maybe I should turn them into characters or something. More faces. Wow. Yes, the clown college spread. Nice titties. Mind if I, you know. <laughs> I could probably be a guest speaker at a clown college. I guess these are like office workers. More naked people, let's go. I think I was using um, the line of action website for uh, anatomy studies. I can show this on YouTube because there's no nips, and therefore it's legal. I think that's the rules. A couple of butt cheeks. Yeah. Couple more. Can't have too many, right? Uh, it's a scary monkey. Bunch of people. Whoa. Um, <laughs> this guy's got a coin. That's freaking epic. I don't know why I have like a bunch of clowns in this section. I think this was like a rough for how I was gonna draw myself when I was uh, signing someone's birthday card. I never know what to write on cards, so I just draw little funny character it says like happy birthday and um, these were um there's this uh, reddit called reddit gets drawn basically people just post pictures of themselves uh and in hopes that someone will draw them i go on there sometimes just to see if there's anything interesting so yeah those two and here we get into the uh sketches for inktober this was gargoyle i believe this was was it just Batman or was it Bat? I don't remember. I don't remember what the prompt was, but I ended up drawing Batman. I know that much. This one was Scallop. I couldn't think of anything, so I just had Gordon Ramsay yelling at someone for having undercooked scallops. I don't know who this guy is, but uh, I did enjoy that kind of set of facial features, so I had a little fun with the expressions. I like these a lot. Um, more Gordon Ramsay's couple of uh <laughs> ghost rider uh, i forget what was the prompt here okay uh i don't know 
I don't remember any of these uh, prompts, what they were. This might have been Tangle? Or was it Nest? Sexy Mr. Krabs? Yup. Rango 2011. Oh yeah, I remember this one was for kind or something like that, friendly, generous, I don't know. I wasn't sure what to do, but I ended up going with uh, someone being given dino nuggies. I don't know what happened, this guy's chest fell off, I guess. This guy's brain fell out, very tragic. Armadillo. Uh, people. A chicken. This guy's peeling his face off. <laughs> Is this a good video? I feel like I'm just saying what's visually apparent, but <laughs> you scrape with a fork, freaking crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, this was the last Inktober I did, and then I gave up. And then I drew welders, a couple more welders. Weld, weld, weld. Look what we have here. Awesome line. Yeah. And I drew this bald guy with a beard, and then it looked like Breaking Bad guy, so I wrote Jesse. And then I started uh, getting uh, obsessed with putting little lines on everyone's cheeks. Very exciting. Uh, these were uh, studies of pictures of people with hair. I like this one. These ones are kind of scuffed. Naked people and also clothed people. I was having uh, the, the mood to try and draw poses with like perspective. <laughs> this is... Uh... Huggers, uh, more faces. I remember these were all done with uh, this this one pen I got in a Christmas cracker. Hold on, it was this, this goddamn pen. It was really cool, and as you can see, like I liked how the ink was, like the quality of it. I used it for like 17 pages, and then it ran out immediately. Cause I was initially like very impressed, like oh wow, this Christmas cracker actually had like a pretty good pen, in it. but there's <laughs> no more ink. After like three days, what a scam. It was so tragic. <sighs> anyway, this was actually where the pen died on, uh, this is supposed to be Schlatt and Ted, but Ted got kind of fucked up because the pen ran out halfway through. So I was like trying to get the last bit of juice out and he ended up with like demon eyes and shit. Um, but then I switched back to the, uh, the other pen I had been using prior, which is fine. <sighs> Rest in peace, that one pen. This is like um, the traffic control person. <laughs> and then um, these last few pages, um, I wasn't sure what to fill them with, so I started asking people for advice. So my friend said a hairy person, so I went random emotion generator on Google. I got longing, so <laughs> this is what we're left with. It's essentially Zeus, and someone said to give him a rat, so there's Steven. Miku, climbing in your window, snatching your people up, perhaps. This is supposed to be Michael Vsauce screaming. I don't know how much it looks like, it maybe a little bit. Oh wait, I do remember. I wanted to draw Miku of my own volition, and then I used the emotion generator again, and it said madness, so. <laughs> Mojo Jojo, yeah, baby. Alternate universe where he's not just a tiny little guy. He's like human size, maybe. Giant rat from German. Sonic, also Sonic. Very cool. Couple of clowns clowning around. Tag yourself, which clown are you? I think I'm Benjamin Franklin clown. Long skinny people, around chumby people. Also this guy. I don't really know what he's got going on. Ah uh, yes, and then um, for these last uh, four to six pages, I don't really remember, I went on Instagram, asked people uh, via stories what to draw, and then I just drew some of the suggestions here. This one, I believe, was favorite uh, Pokemon and favorite Disney movie. And I don't really play Pokemon, so I just drew the meme Diglett with the sexy body. Somebody said monkey. Oh yeah, this was actually uh, requested by a uh, sphinx cat named Monkey, so I drew the sphinx cat named Monkey as well as monkeys. Um, somebody wanted a frog tripping on shrooms. 
somebody wanted Overwatch 2 characters. So I drew this guy with the balls because my brother has a action figure of this guy. So he's one of the few Overwatch characters I actually know of. Somebody wanted a gnome. Somebody wanted Beta Ray Bill, I believe, which is, I didn't know this was a thing, but it's uh, Thor with a funny alien mouth, I guess. <laughs> Uh, somebody wanted Sexy Clown from Dead by Daylight. Somebody wanted the sketchbook and the sketchbook and the sketchbook and the sketchbook. Uh, somebody wanted my D&D character, Carlos. Uh, an excellent choice. But he wanted a dinosaur, but I, I forgot what a dinosaur looked like. I don't know what the fuck that, that, that little guy is, but uh, I, I think this one is kind of what a dinosaur looks like. Um, Among Us with the skin tight bodysuit. Frog and snail, pink bear with flowers and skull, buff Mike Wazowski, and Raven. Yeah, and that's it, I think. <laughs> and then we just have every time the pen wasn't working, so I had to scribble until it worked. <laughs> Yippee! I feel like this might have been a little bit more boring than previous sketchbooks because it's mostly just black and white ink. Like, I used to use more mediums but i got tired of um, having to spray the pencil to keep it from smudging so i was just using ink for like everything <laughs> and uh, my markers were like downstairs for months and i was too lazy to get them and bring them upstairs so i wasn't doing anything with the posca pens or nothing I'll, I'll try and do some more color stuff this year probably maybe unless i don't you never know <laughs> there was some extra suggestions from the Instagram story that uh, I didn't get around to fitting into the 2022 one. So I'm starting off the next sketchbook with those. You're not getting any peaks until it's finished though. So no, don't, don't, get, don't get ahead of yourself. I'm just showing the, I'm going back to the bigger size because the small ones are, they're fine, but it's kind of, kind of little. So yeah, that's basically it. What, what else should I, oh yeah, I'm working on a animation it's gonna be about Germa, so I guess look out for that. Um, how long was that? 23 minutes though, fuck. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good, good night. All right.